What is up everybody, Kick06 back with another test video of the Ryzen 7 8700G. This time we have Dota 2. Um, if you were one of the uh, individuals here on my screen, LJ Huiji, Paulo Domingo, and Goldilocks, they very, very kindly pointed out how I did not actually give them Dota gameplay and my excuse is ignorance because I did not know what the game was. I just knew it was popular and I got it wrong. So here I am making it right with actual gameplay. Uh, before we get started, I want you to know, as you can see, all of the information like FPS and CPU, temp speeds, all that stuff, that's going to be in the top left of your screen. The top right is going to say what settings we're on. And this game is kind of weird. We're going to do four settings. Um, so they have basic settings. And they have best looking. Uh, it goes from fastest to best looking. And they don't actually have names. But we're going to start on best looking. And then the then we're going to just go down one click. And I just call that best looking minus one. And then after that we're going to go to fastest plus one. So like the second setting. And then the first setting is just fastest. So we're going to start with the lowest FPS. And then we are going to, um, at, towards the end of the video, it's going to be the highest FPS. So, um, but I kind of left something out here. I wanted to got, let you guys know that the links and the specs to the test rig Radiant's are down below, tower. as well as the link to my Discord if anybody has any questions. If you have any other games that you would like to see, feel free to post them in the chat or in the uh comments below or hop in the discord and let me know i plan on keeping this desktop for a while so i'll be able to post really any game as long as it's cheap or free i got you just let me know um i can't really speak a lot about this game because i don't know it i hope you guys find this useful at the end of the video there is going to be an informational video it's about six minutes long but it goes over all the settings and all the defaults that i changed to the cpu um what i changed in the bios and the software i needed it's all in the end if you've seen what you liked and and you're wanting to buy it all of the affiliate links are below and everything you need to know is in that last six minute video but that is it for me i hope this answers some questions i apologize again for not getting it right the first time but goldilocks domingo and Luigi, this one's for you have a good one i will catch you on my next video Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dear lady, sir. <laughs> Rare. 
Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Rack it on! Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. <laughs> What is up, guys? If you made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you found them helpful. Up to over the past couple days, I have tested about 20 different games. And this is kind of the part where I just want to go over with you guys um, my settings and maybe go over an issue or two that I had. Uh, first off, this right here is called FPS Monitor. I got it off of Steam. I believe it was a couple bucks, but this is where I got all the information that was in, I think all but one of the videos. And I think CS Counter-Strike 2, I think did not take this. I don't remember. One of them didn't like it and it wouldn't work, but FPS Monitor on Steam, I think it was a couple bucks, but that is exactly what I used. 
As for this, this is the Adrenaline. This is the um, AMD Adrenaline app that you will need if you are going to get the CPU or any of the G series from Ryzen. So HyperRX is, is well known for it being the best for FPS. It has the Super Res that was on, Fluid Motion Frames 2 that was on, Anti-Lag and Boost. All of these were on. Uh, you can go to quality, and I think it's pretty comparable, but all based on my research, uh, Hyper RX is definitely the one that you want to go to um, for performance, and you can get all these. You can have your own overlay. You can set it up here. I just didn't do that because I like the way the other one was formatted a little bit better. Um, here's the system right now. I have 32 gig of RAM installed. There's the Ryzen 7 8700G as advertised. So right now it says there's only 24 gig of RAM and I will tell you why right now. I went into the BIOS and changed the UMA frame buffer size to eight gig, which means, if, which means that I took eight gig of the physical RAM and turned it into VRAM for the APU um, so it would have more power. Um, I, with with 32 gig that gave us plenty of room since most of the games today did not even get over 20 gig usage of ram so that gave us some extra fps um so that's why i did it i allocated 8 gig of ram and that's why right there uh, i had a question in my chat before that was asking me what version i was using of windows so there it is one is 11 home there's the version in the os build so the next thing that I wanted to show you was AMD Ryzen Master. This is where I go for basically, basically the overclocking, really. So I set it on game mode, turned on Precision Boost Overdrive. On top of that, I came down to sock voltage. So the GPU sock voltage was, uh, I set it to 1.275, and I will tell you exactly why. Once I got into the more demanding games like Halo and Warzone and Ark, I, the computer started just resetting on me, and it would just, it would just reset and go right back to the login screen. So I did a little bit of research on Reddit and YouTube, and I found one guy that said he had those same exact issues, and he said uh, it was a voltage problem. So he raised it up to 1.275 volts, and it worked uh, flawlessly and it was stable and he never had an issue again. I think if I remember right, it was on like 1.15 or 1.175, something like that. So he didn't raise it a crazy amount, but over the past seven, I believe, the past seven uh, games that I tested, zero issues and no issues, no, uh, no criticals in the event viewer either uh, a couple other things in the bios like i said i allocated that vram um, i made sure that the resize bar was enabled i set the f clock to 2500 and the u clock was at 3000 because i used 6000 megahertz ram and xmp was on for this by the way in case you were curious um let's see what else I have for you guys before we go out. So that uh, FPS monitor app that I use, it showed the 1% and 0.1% lows. And I just want you to know that the first 20 to 30 seconds after I change to a different um, graphical setting, it kind of resets that. So the first 20 to 30 seconds are not trustworthy. So if, if I switch over and you see, oh, it's only five... Uh, it's five FPS for a 1% low for 25 seconds. That's awful. It was not that bad, which is why it went from five. In most cases, it went from that five FPS or two FPS all the way up to 30 or 40. Uh, it just had to reset and it basically has to play catch up. Uh, one other thing I wanted you guys to understand, um, all of this testing was done on a 27-inch Asus Tough curved 1080p 165 hertz monitor. The frames were um, basically the frames were uncapped if it was possible and if possible every single one of these games was done in full screen exclusive um and the last thing i wanted you guys to know is that all of the recording and all of the fps monitoring software was done on the computer while playing the game so i did go back and i played five to ten of the games over again just to uh, see the difference in the fps without having to run obs and fps monitor and it came down to about a 5 to 13 fps differential 
when the OBS and FPS were FPS monitor were turned off. When when the game was the only thing running, there was an increase of about 5 to 13 FPS on average. And I know that's kind of a very precise number, and that's just exactly what it was. So that is going to be it for me. If you have any other questions or if you want to see any other games, please feel free. Put them in the comments below, and I will get to them. I plan on keeping this computer for a while. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Don't be safe, don't do anything stupid, and I will catch you guys on the next video.